Okay, so hi. So this is like an intro video where I'll be explaining to you what this course is about, what all you can expect to learn from this course. So this course, as the name suggests, is about developing a website that's similar to Olex Lawton. Here we will be able to post our listings. As you can see, uh, I made some two three listings. Post our listings. Uh, create a user account. Uh, log out. Register a user account. Log in to our account, etc. And during registration, uh, there will be an activation confirmation code that will be sent to the user's mail. And once the code is entered, only will the account be created. So I'll just show you how that works. So I'll just say Alan John. It's an Allen username Allen. As uh, I'm gonna give a, a, one of my emails. So let me see at which email. So I'm gonna give a phone number. I'm gonna give some random ten digit number. Password. So register. So the email is being sent. So I'll just go to my Gmail. You can see confirm register and it's asking for our activation code. So I uh, just go to my account and uh, once the confirmation code is a random string generated using a random function and you see this is a code so copy and I paste it register. So it says success, you have now logged in, as you can see, I learned dashboard and in the dashboard, basically those listings, uh, the inquiries which you made, the inquiries which are coming to you and an option to create listings. This, uh, this is basically a listing page which says uh, the listings which you have created and saying you have not created any listings as of yet. So it is asking you to create the listings. Uh, you can create listings, it will take you to create this page, you can, it has a title, category, the address, city, states which you can choose from, I'm from India, so I'm given, I have given the income states, description of your product, the price, this is a compulsory photo, so you have to upload one, and you can uh, upload any of the six, it's supposed to maximum six photos, and you can create it, and as you can see right now there are five listings which I have, which I have put so I'll just search for PS4 let's see if the search function works so PS4 search there it is a PS4 listing and we we'll search for all the listings that's below 50,000 it is up to 50,000 so it will show all those listings that are below 50,000 then there are two what about one lakh there was three including iPhone NS. So this is what uh, our search function mainly does. Also the users will have an option to create an inquiry. So you see I'll make an inquiry. It says uh, since we already logged in our name and email ID would be already input and you won't be able to change it. Phone number if required if you want you can give it or not and I'm you can type in your message. I just look at and show to you how it looks without our uh, email. So as you can see, only the item would be given. The name and email won't be uh, inputted automatically since we are not logged in. So that feature is there. And uh, I'll just log into one of my uh, made accounts. So. Here I have already made inquiries for this account. So if I go to my dashboard, you can see these are my listings and I am not made inquiries but there are incoming inquiries and plans for PS4. So I will have the option to reply to him and I can just type in the message and I, the email will go to Mr. M and Mr. Matthew and you can also see there is an option to update the listings. PS4, uh, um, we are only updating the title, description, price, the category and all will remain unchanged and only the main photo you can update it 
an option to delete so i'll just delete it and show it to you so it's deleted and if you see in picture listing the ps4 is no longer there and we will be also able to customize our admin page so this is i'll just log out and go to my admin page so slash admin this will so you can see this is how this is not how the default admin area looks it will be like administration area and i put around our company logo this is a random logo which i took from the net so log in and you can see this is entirely different to what you get in the default region and normally under authentication would be where the users tables would be found but we have created a custom user table so that i can add my phone number to it normally phone number is not allowed but here we are adding our phone number as you can see a phone number and you can add extra fields and uh, the personal area permissions this is not how the default area looks uh, i'll just show you how the default area looks so Django admin default images yep this is how the default area looks and for users just check for users so user area area uh, it's not there but uh, as you can expect uh, the phone number won't be there uh, as you can see the color is different and there's an option there's an also there's also an option for uh, searching the listings as you can go to listing you can see search filter by right click electronics there's no electronics so right click mobile so there's one iphone tech cars there's one right click call everything will be listed an option to add listings and this is not how it normally looks only one of the only one link would be there but have you customized it such that we will have the option to see the corner the category the price if it's published or not so all this is how, what i changed in the admin area and let's go back to my main site i think hmm, as you can see our dashboard checks automatically if there is an about page navigation bar is confirmed is configured such that and only ran uh, any last three uh, listings will be displayed in our home page everything else will be there in a featured listing we also have page with pagination uh, but that is for up after every nine lists so as of now i have not put anything else and okay so this is what you can expect from this course you'll be learning uh, almost three features that is how to customize your user admin table how to add create update delete listings user registration how to style your admins admin page and how to use functions views etc and i would suggest uh, people who have a written knowledge of django to use my course because i'm not explaining everything from the beginning thoroughly but i'm trying as much as i can i i wanted to shorten the course as much as possible and still it's around seven seven point hours i guess and uh, i don't want to increase the time limit and i don't want to be a 15 hour course or something that will just make it um, complicated congested and also uh, the first two videos after this is kind of uh, my mic was not functioning properly at that time i was using my inbuilt microphone in my laptop and hence there was some disturbance but i you can hear me properly and but there will be some this one like mm, i hope you guys don't mind anyway the first two uh, videos are not that important although it is kind of important it is basically styling and uh, getting started nothing else is mainly we start from third video and also one main important point which i forgot is that we'll be using postgres as our 
table as you can see you're using postgres and i'm using postgres 12 so i'll be explaining how to install and set up postgres also so i guess that's it hope you guys will enjoy my course give it a thumbs up subscribe like this video not this video any video which you like anyways uh, let's get started guys